I'm a bit nervous actually because the people here, the Lords, the MPs and the media are taking it incredibly seriously. They have come in trainers, they have come with the full regalia, they are practising their pancake flipping skills. Well there are two things that it does for us really, it raises the awareness and the second thing is that it, it helps us to fundraise. So there's, there's some activities around today that, that we can sell some sponsorships, sell some advertising and we raise funds for some very deserving services that we have to help vulnerable people, people with disabilities, people with brain injuries, people who are unemployed. It's a great cause and it's fun. I mean in politics we spend so much of our time being so incredibly serious so why not a little pleasure? Rehab does good work, you know, gets people back out there in one piece and functioning again, and it's a bit of fun. I do it every year because it's partly it's a lot of fun, but also because it is in a good cause. Rehab do a, a fantastic job, um, and I love the way they've managed to make this such an institution between three pillars of the British Constitution, uh, MPs, the peers and the media. And the other reason for doing this year is we have to make sure we keep our title we won last year. I just can't resist tossing, really. No, it's look, it's for a brilliant cause, isn't it? It's an incredibly good cause, it's a lovely atmosphere. It's a little bit chilly this year. Uh, in fact, probably the coldest one I've ever done. But there's always a nice atmosphere of ruthless competitiveness, really. It's just a, a brilliant charity, um, helping 80,000 people year on year with a variety of, of projects and schemes to get them back on themselves back on their feet. Well, all of the MPs went away for a week over Christmas to have a special training camp. So we've been practicing various different techniques for how to toss the pancakes uh, and how to cope with that. So, so we'll see. We also are still threatening both uh, Leveson against the media and still possibly House of Lords reform if the other two sides cheat. No, we never train. You see, Lords and Commons, we do all these events. We do swimming, we do tennis, we do tugs of war, but our secret trick is we don't train. I have no idea what you're talking about. We don't practice. Oh no, gosh, no, I can't even run for the bus. You can't actually prepare because the truth is there is no cheat like a parliamentarian. So frankly, no amount of pre preparation succeeds. Even Mo Farah would lose to these guys because they would find some tactic that you hadn't thought of. On your marks, get set. <laughs> It feels absolutely fantastic. We had a title to defend. We did it in style, so very pleased that we've done so. Exhausting, but exhilarating. Yes, again, the MPs have uh, have triumphed, all in a good cause. But it's a pretty dirty race, I tell you, particularly from the Lords. They try every underhand tactic in the book. I cannot believe how naughty they all were. They just didn't stop. There was pushing. There was stealing of pancakes, stealing of a frying pan as well, uh, stealing of an apron. But I have to say, the MP's most laps were in the lead. We led from the front, and I think we were only behind on a couple of the, of the rounds, but otherwise we were in total control. I think this is the best year of it. Uh, we had such a turnout of the, of the competitors, of the MPs, of the lawyers, of, of the media, and of course there was a lot of aggro, people, a bit of cheating here and there, a bit of pushing, uh, but great fun overall, really, really pleased with it.